Hey, what's up guys? Mr. Free Coiner coming back to you again today. I hope everyone's well and you are taking care of yourself. Now, before I get started here, of course, I need to say I am not a financial advisor. I am simply sharing my thoughts and opinions, so please only take it as that. Now, guys, what a great couple days we have seen here. And, and I do have to address the fact that I have been MIA, guys. A lot has been going on, just trying to really keep things under control on my end. But never fear, Mr. Free Coiner has not run away yet. Especially with this positive momentum we have. Now, yeah, it's only 31 cents, 32 cents. But guys, we have been on a steady climb since yesterday. And we haven't really seen this. We haven't seen XRP act this way for really nothing. And not to mention, it is not performing the way Bitcoin is. It's, it looks to be dis, uh, decoupled. So we'll see how all this goes. Hopefully we stay on this trend and we see some really nice things in the next few days. Uh, I know personally I've made a few changes, but good changes. And uh, maybe we'll get into that. But first of all, uh, moving on from this, altcoins likely gearing up for new cycle, says Nicholas Martin Merton, Bitcoin. So apparently, you know, the, the sentiment is that we are in, I guess, another altcoin season, possibly. We're entering into it. Now, I have heard people say that this is kind of a fake out. Uh, XRP and other alts are going to drop and then that money is going to go back into Bitcoin. But guys, I got to be honest with you. I would have to ask this question. Why? I mean, what does Bitcoin do? What benefit do people get from using Bitcoin? Seriously. The only, the only thing that Bitcoin has over any other crypto is just the fact it was the first mover and there are many places that are taking bitcoin but they are i mean even that is really minuscule guys you can't just walk into any store and use bitcoin it it, it still hasn't got received that type of adoption and the main reason why that has not happened yet is because bitcoin is so slow i mean look at all the Different companies that cut off the acceptance of Bitcoin simply because of the latency that the transactions can have. So I personally don't think uh, that's going to happen now. We could see prices really, I mean, XRP and everything else. Now, just speaking about XRP specifically, we could see it get to maybe 50 cents, maybe even a dollar and then come back down. I mean. It, that's always possible. But guys, I, I'm going to be honest with you. I think the word is out. XRP is the one. So that's my opinion. We shall see, though. All right. So moving on. Well, this is not what I wanted right here. Amazing. Stellar lumens surges by more than 25% in a day. What would cause the rally? Now, um, Let's see. It says, well, really, it doesn't matter. Uh, as it says here, there are no discernible cause of mass rally and no announcements. So same thing with XRP. But guys, I'm going to tell you this. And I said this in another video some time ago, several months ago. I think I want to say even uh, last year. But some information I got uh, was that XRP and XLM are going to be the two most important crypto currencies available okay now it could be that xrp is mostly going to be for um, financial institutions and xlm will be for retail uh investors i mean either way guys just remember xrp xlm are very very important yeah there there has been like all this drama between Jeb and Ripple and all that, but guys, just ignore that. That's all theater. Um, you got to remember the stuff that that gets put out 
in uh, in in media, even alternative media, as that is again, it's theater. When you're talking about millions, billions, and even trillions of dollars, people start to, you know, let those walls dissolve, or maybe they never existed in the first place. So, just understand that it is very likely that Jeb and Ripple actually have no problem. Okay? It's very likely. That's what's presented to us. So, and this kind of, you know, extends through many other uh, spaces, you know, all over, uh, all over the world, guys. Anytime you see people who have a lot of money and it seems that they're at odds with each other, uh, you know, as far as what when it comes to money it's usually not true okay just from my experience all right so let's go ahead and move on now this is something that has been at the forefront of the news and i'm just going to give you my take on this now it says drone missile debris proves iranian role in this attack right so First of all, let, let, let's think about this rationally, right? We know Iran, Iran, or however you want to say it. We know that they are, or they have been receiving quite a lot of hate, quite a lot of, you know, bad press, all of that, okay? Now, they already have sanctions. They already have all of these issues. I have to ask, why in the world? Why in the world? Would they initiate an attack on Saudi Arabia? I mean, that makes no sense. They why would they cause more problems for themselves when the whole world's already against them? It makes no sense. I think a lot of times, if we would just sit back, put on our critical thinking hats, and then look at these things that being that are being uh, pushed out to it by uh, pushed out to us by the mainstream media these uh these 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 masters of deception because you will see that usually anything that they say any any agenda they're trying to push it's usually going to be 180 degrees in the other direction so just think about that i mean i'm 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 just saying here you might want to consider just rationally thinking about the things that they say because nine times out of ten it just makes no sense so all right moving on one last thing guys now of course Binance is opening up or has opened up or whatever for uh, the US but they are blocking 13 states okay now that really sucks I mean actually as you can see here I live in Texas and Texas is one of the states now you know, California is not. Now, I, that kind of baffles me, to be honest with you. But, um, you know, considering they have so many restrictions, I still wouldn't live in California. Just, <laughs> I don't care how much Binance offers. But uh, but anyway, um, yeah, this really kind of sucks. But you know what? I'm good. I don't need Binance. If, if this is how uh, that game has to be played, then you know what? Poo-poo on them. Um, so another thing, guys, something to consider. Once these prices really get to some some cash out numbers, OK, you might want to reconsider cashing out your 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 coins. OK, your your XRP especially. And the reason I say that is because obviously when you cash out, you have two problems. One. Your, your XRP is gone. Two, you're going to be taxed, okay, without a doubt. So get taking a loan out. Now, I know that's kind of scary, okay? Don't get me wrong. I know there are, there are uh, 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 cons for pretty much every decision you make, all right? But hear me out. Taking a loan out allows you to not have to pay taxes. And it allows you to keep your coins. So we'll, we'll just use Nexo, for example. 
there are a couple things you have to consider here. One, again, you you know, obviously the benefits of not cashing out your coins, you take a loan. Yes, you only get about 40% of what uh, what you have. So if you have 2,000 coins, if it's a dollar, you're only going to get about, what is that, 40, uh, I'm sorry, um, uh, just under 1,000 coins, okay? So, or coins, just under $1,000, I'm sorry. And you have to pay interest on it, right? So the interest rate is somewhere between 8 and 16%, uh, and I think it's going to be mostly towards 8%. All right. Something that you can do, and you got to remember, the price of XRP is going to steadily go up, right? Now, of course, we're going to see it go back and forth, but obviously it's got, it has to go up. And that, at least that's what we're hoping. Guys, one thing you can do to kind of offset the interest rate or the interest that you'll pay on the money that you get is to actually purchase Nexo coins. Now, again, I'm not telling anyone to go and purchase anything. I'm just giving a scenario here. Okay, I'll just say this is what I plan on doing. Getting some Nexo coins to offset that interest because I think they pay up to 30%. If I'm not mistaken, I could be wrong about that. I got to go back and check. But I think it's up to 30% interest per year, I believe, on your purchases, okay, of Nexo. So whatever you have in Nexo on, uh, on you know, as far as Nexo coins, you get, uh, you know what, actually, let's go ahead and uh, let's just go ahead and check that out. Okay, so. Here is Nexo, um, and again, I, I, it says here that you can earn 8% interest with 100% asset back guarantees. This is why I was saying I didn't, wasn't quite sure I wanted to check, but either way, guys, um, you, well, they, this is a sign up. Yeah, so they are a custodian. They are, they have, they're licensed and regulated, um, high yield savings, passive income. I mean, guys, it, it, it could be something very good. I, I'm I'm looking into this more myself, so I can possibly even take you know take advantage of it. We'll see. We'll see though. Uh, but either way, guys, uh, just something to consider. Uh, there are several other options out there, and there are going to be more options coming our way. So just keep your eyes open. Uh, remember, this is always an option, and I guess that that's really what I'm more um, saying than anything. Always weigh your options. See what's actually best for you, what that's going to work out best. If it, if it comes to just cashing out, then you know what? That's what you have to do, right? Uh, but personally, I want to try to keep my XRP as long as possible. I, I, I've been told that it wouldn't be very long before um, it would, the price of XRP would be at some very insane levels. So you don't want to miss out on that. Uh, I, I mean, that's just my take on it. So anyway, guys, that's all I have for you today. Thank you for joining me again today, guys. I know it has been a very long time uh, or just a, several days that I haven't posted, but uh, it's just so much going on. But, you know, I'm, I'm not I haven't gone anywhere. Just uh, just trying to handle things, you guys. So anyway, until next time, this has been Mr. Free Coiner. Take care of yourselves and God bless you.